I really wish we had some Maria Emmerich bread made right now. Okay, why? Because we're gonna try the new Chalk Zero Strawberry Jam. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted. So we got a little package from Chalk Zero. One of them, which we don't have any left, and I'm, I'm sorry that we don't because we should have done a review on it, was a raspberry pop chocolate. It was so good. It was interesting. First of all, the flavor was amazing. We brought it to John and Michelle's and left it with them because everybody liked it, all the non-keto people. Yeah. But it was like white raspberry chocolate with pop rocks in it. And it, and really, it sounded weird, but wow, was that good. It really had a good raspberry flavor, but then the, like, the pops going on were super, super fun. Yep. Like I loved it. Well, in that package was, I, I said, I think I said jelly, but this is a strawberry jam. Thank you. It is strawberry. It is. Well, Not I was great. just going to say the only thing that would make this better is if it was no, great. It because is just I right. was a grape jelly fan, not a straw. Well, strawberry is okay. But Team strawberry. Our, what was your favorite flavor jam? Let us know. So long as it's not peach. <laughs> okay. So we got this and you know what? I... I used to like a little bit of jelly or jam, right? Well, well, we are just coming off of cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving, so. Which I think would make a really good jam if we can thicken it a little bit. I am totally up for this, and we are about to eat, so I feel like this is a good time to kind of have, like, our treat together. I can't get it open. I can help. Hit the bottom. There we oh, go. There oh, go. no, no, no. It's twisting. Here it goes. There we go. It was funny. It was twisting. It smell. <gasps> Does it smell like strawberry? Very strawberry jelly like. Mmm. That smells. Now it's not red. It's more of a brownish. It looks like strawberry jam. Well, here's the like, thing. Like not fake strawberry it's jam. It's not fake. So we don't have like red dye number 74 in there. Okay. I'm going to give you that. I'll get my own thank you. Oh, okay. Because I don't think you have enough. <laughs> Want to dink it? Dink. Wow. Mm. Oh my gracious, is that delicious. Like this tastes very fancy pants. Wow. This doesn't even taste like Whole Foods, it tastes like Fresh Market. Wow. You know it tastes like the supermarket that has the classical music playing and you're thinking to yourself like, this this classical music is gonna cost me. That is, that's dangerous. That is good. That is that is really good. Well, that is really good. you wanna do five things? five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. I don't have my glasses. I can help. So I'm going to allow you to read the ingredients. Thanks so much. So the ingredients are soluble corn fiber, Fructolagesteride, winter melon, water, strawberries, glycerin, pectin, chia seeds, monk fruit extract, natural strawberry flavor, sodium citrate, ascorbic acid to help protect the flavor, potassium sorbate to maintain freshness. Okay. Mm -hmm. So ingredients aren't super bad. So that, that name you were having pronounced like hard time pronouncing. Yeah. That's actually where the soluble corn fiber is coming from. Okay. And, um, Again, everybody reacts differently to soluble corn fiber. I don't have issues with it. The only time that I try to be very weary of it is when I do want to have it, I try to do it around a meal time. You know, right. I find it does not increase my glucose, but everybody is different. I do like the fact that they're telling us where it comes from. So 
for what it is, I would not have this every single day. I would not day. have this every day. But for what it is, if you're doing maybe a dessert, I'm thinking you talk about like the raspberry cheesecake with keto chow. Oh yeah. And then drizzling a Over little bit of, of this that. across the top of yep. it. Maybe once in a blue moon, you wanna have a little bit of jam on a piece of toast. I think that, but I'm gonna look at it more of a dessert. I'm going to use it as a dessert, absolutely. I am not going to be using this to make like PSMF peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah. I don't think that that is a good road for me. Yeah. So, but I do like having jelly. Yeah. And I I feel like we're, we're doing it better if we do it with our meal too. So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? I'm gonna hand that back to you Thank since you. I don't have my glasses. So there's 23 servings per container. And I mean, I have to say like that's, this is a generous well, amount. Considering we each just took a spoon out and there's, it's like not a lot. Is a serving. A table. Okay. So this yeah. is a teaspoon, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe we had a half a serving. Yeah, it was good. So calories are 15, total fat, zero, protein, zero, total carbohydrates are 11, dietary fiber is 10. So it's one net carb, but I'm, I'm going to count those total carbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, that's, I would definitely say that again, we are total carb people. To me, there's nothing wrong. Being total carb just allows you to be honest with yourself. Yeah. You're better off upping your total carbs to 30 or even 40. Right. And then saying, I'm gonna do 20 net carbs, but I'm gonna do a total of 30 or 40 total carbs. Why? It puts a limitation because if you go by this, it's one, one net, net carb. carb. So you don't need 20 net carbs coming from 20 tablespoons of this. Well, here's the thing. There's 23 servings in here. You need the whole jar. So you can, if you're doing just a net carb thing with no total carb cap, you're going to be like, I can have the whole thing and I'd only be eating 500 calories and I'd only eat 23 net carbs. Some of that fiber is going to be digested by your body. Don't think. And if it's not that I wouldn't try. <laughs> if it's not digested, you know what the worst thing is? You ate less carbs than you thought. Right. So again, 11 total carbs for what it is, Yeah. I don't think that that's bad at all. Again, especially if you're gonna use it as a treat. I'm even thinking take a tablespoon of this or even a half a tablespoon and put it into an ice cream as the mix-in with the Ninja Creamy. Oh, that'd be good. Then you get that little bit of a swirl in there. Then you don't really need a lot, right? You're just True. adding that little bit of a swirl in there, maybe giving yourself five carbs, 10 carbs, total carbs. And again, if your body doesn't digest it, you're just better for it. I would love that, yes. I would do strawberry keto chow with a drizzle of that and as a mix-in. Oh, yeah. Number three, how does it taste? Honestly. Perfect. I wish the boys were here Fancy. because I don't think that you really would be able to tell the difference easily between this and one of the sugared versions they have up the street at the grocery store. Well, again, I feel like this is the fancy pants one. So this is the, the jelly that you would have in its own little individual pretty jar at a fancy breakfast brunch option place. Yeah. Number four, how much do they cost? This actually really impressed me. The cost is $7.99 a jar. That is not bad. No, because jelly itself isn't cheap, especially no. like you said, the fancy pants jelly. How much is a carton of strawberries? I know, right? Right? So $7.99, I'm gonna leave a link down below. When we're filming this, they're still having their Black Friday sale. I don't know if it'll be going on by the time you guys see this video, but we do have a coupon code, so I'm gonna leave all of that information down below. You can pick this up, you can pick up some of the other Chalk Zero products. Number five, would we recommend this? I'm gonna say yes, if you really are missing jelly, so long as you put it in its place. Well, I think that this is important to get into homes because if you have kids coming in and out of your life, isn't it so much better to make their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Maybe everybody in your house is in keto yeah. and they have jelly going on in, in the house. So I would much rather have this. And if I do take a spoon to it, I'm not derailing my entire progress, right? right? I love having this. And I honestly think if we're still giving jelly of any sort to a child, we need to be giving them this. Well, that's where sugar. I was going to go. I was going to say, honestly, whether you want it jelly or not, if you have any kids or grandkids or anything like that, get rid of the junk from the grocery store. Is this going to cost a couple bucks more? Yes. But how much is our health worth? Not that much and more. And more importantly, how much is your child or your grandchild's health worth? Right. So get rid of the stuff from the store, pull this one in. 
I'm telling you, unless you Lion King it, that, hey, this is a sugar-free jelly. No. Um, they're not going to know. It is that good. It is Very that delicious. sweet. This is the first jelly that I know of in Chalk Zero's line. I hope they expand even to grape. Don't say grape. Even to, even to peach, because a lot of people do like peach jams and jellies. Or to orange apricot marmalade. Or orange, mar orange marmalade. I really hope they expand it, because I'm super impressed with this, and I definitely would recommend it. Again, so long as you put it in its place. And again, I would not, I would definitely be doing some type of total carb cap if you're gonna have this or any kind of sweet dessert like chocolate or something yeah, like that. Yeah, well, I think that this is a nice option too for like we make Christmas cookies and we make keto Christmas cookies. I mean, even your your crust yeah. that makes a great sugar cookie. And you think about those ones that are like sandwiched and you have a little jelly in the middle of it. This is perfect to oh, that's use. That's a great idea. Swap it out. No one's going to know the difference. And you just gave them a no sugar treat. Well, that is going to be today's review video of the Chalk Zero Strawberry Jam. Let us know down in the comment section if you try this. I also want to know what would be your favorite flavored jam if they could turn it into a jam. It's right here. Sugar free. What would be your favorite flavor? Bonus points if you say great. Ew. <laughs> if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be learning to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.